you are turned on to Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rapala Lures, Shakespeare Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod, Northwest Ontario, Canada, Abu Garcia, quality rods and reels for life. This week on Midwest Outdoors, an Ontario adventure with Gary Roach at Ghost River Lodges. The year in review with the North American Ice Fishing Circuit. And Matt Bichonich on Lake Winnebago. It all starts right here, right now. The one you've been after, Tony. Good fish. I, I don't know what it is, but it sure acted like a northern pike. Daryl, you just never know what you're going to be catching up here. It's just like <laughs> being a northern pike or a thickness. We're up here, folks, with Midwest Outdoors on Lake Margin. One, but good fed Daryl Cartman and my great nephew Tony Roach. Look at that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, eh? This is what we come up to Ghost River for. Folks, you can get fish like this at Ghost River. This is the beginning of the day and for us, and uh, we've got a couple more days we're gonna fish up here. So if you wanna come up and have a great time, no fly-ins, you know, you drive to the edge of the lake, they, they uh, pick you up in a boat, take you across the portage, and you're up here fishing. Nobody around. I mean, you got the whole system to yourself. So, man, get, in that, get on that phone and give Daryl a call and catch fish like this every day. Here we go. Yeah, you can sure tell the conservation program is working well, eh, Gary? Oh, man, I'll tell you what, you know, how many years I've been coming up here now? 10 years? Oh, or more than that, more I think 12 or 14, anyway. And this year, I've never seen so many different size fish. It's unbelievable. Key is we don't take the big fish. The big fish always go back. And you can keep them from 18 down, right? Yeah, 18 to 14 okay. is well, 18 what we is consider nice harvest fish. size. Boy, I tell you what, you, an 18-inch fish. If you go with the conservation license, we'll buy the license. Wow. So that makes a big difference. A lot of people are going with that. I'd say 80, 90% yeah. of our guests take the conservation license. Oh, a double oh, header oh, here. Oh, oh. Oh. He is He's sneaky. So you know quiet, that? Eh? He We're is in so corner. sneaky. That Tony, I'll tell you what. You got to watch him all the time. Oh, looks like a good one here. Another nice big fish here. Oh, big one, huh? Wow. Okay, you get that one because we got to get Tony's too. I get him underneath here, the gale here. Got him. Okay. What do you got, Tony? Tony, the sneaker. Another that nice, nice fish. Well, double. Beautiful color to these things. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Awesome fish, huh, Tony? Fish on. Fish on. Double. <laughs> double. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing Tony's trick. This I wasn't saying nothing. You know the trouble with this spot, Daryl? They're all too big. We, we got to go find a spot where we can get some <laughs> fish to on. eat. We only got three right yeah, now. Yeah, we got to find some go fish back. to eat. Right. Nice fish, Tony. Don't lose that sucker, Minnow. Or lose it back here. Daryl needs it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice fish. Look at him, huh? Gray fish. The old gray ghost there. <laughs> Digging for the bottom. Why they fight, huh? <laughs> they fight. I'm That's the river you system what. fish, oh, right? Yeah. Current. There you go. Current. We're using live bait rigs like we do at home. After a cold front, these fish are really lethargic. Here's a nice fish. All right. He's bigger than I thought he was. You got him? You want got me to him. Go? So this is what it's about, folks. You come up here, you can catch fish like this all day long. And the fish are hooked deep. One thing you want to go underneath the gill. <laughs> underneath the gill. Get on there. Okay. Just another dandy, see? Just the beauties. <laughs> Gorgeous, huh? Here to go. Buddy, thank you, man. Wow, another nice fish. Just the overall quality of fish. You can tell the conservation here at Ghost River is paid off. Uh, when you're catching fish after fish of this size and this quality, you just don't see that in a lot of locations. You know, there's no gaps in your classes. We've been talking about it in the boat. 
you get everything from small fish all the way up to giants, and that's just such a great, healthy thing to see in a fishery. Sure. You gotta love it. Another good one? Catching fish in paradise. That one run right at me. Nice walleye. Yep. Bring him over. Man, he, these fish, I can't, I can't tell you how much they fight. Look at how black that one is. Yep. Look at that, huh? Ooh. Thick too, eh? Oh, they're thick down there. I can't even get my bait down there. Wow, what, a, what an experience. This is what it's all about. took the opportunity to enjoy a great shore lunch together as a family, we would like to take the opportunity to invite you and your group to come and visit us here at Ghost River. Ghost River Lodges is a great place to bring your family. We hope that you can come up to Northwestern Ontario and enjoy some wonderful hospitality and some great service. Uh, that's what we pride ourselves in the most. Look us up on the website, ghostriverlodges.com or toll free 1-888-446 7874. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors. Take the helm of a Rainy Lake houseboat and explore over 200,000 acres of sky blue waters and majestic forests in Voyagers National Park. With nine styles in our fleet, you'll find the perfect houseboat for a getaway with family, friends, or business associates. Experience world-class fishing on Rainy Lake with monster walleye, bass, pike, and more. Slow down, relax, and reconnect with family and friends amongst wildlife, towering pines, and ancient waterways. Call 1-800-554-9188 or visit RainyLakeHouseboats.com. This is Saskatchewan. This is Saskatchewan. And this is Saskatchewan. Download your free guide to Canada's best fishing spots and resorts at fishsask.com. Hey folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we are out on Lake Mille Lacs. We're with Jack Baker. He's the man behind the NAIFC. This is where they hold their championship. And today on the show, we're gonna review their season of 2013. We're gonna catch some fish and take a look at what's gonna happen at the championship this year here. Yep, yeah, got him. There we go. I had to work on that one, Jack, for a while. I tell you what, last year was a challenging year for, uh, there's a nice perch. It's a challenging year for ice fishing. You guys started out in some pretty tough conditions, huh? We're up in the Turtle Mountains, Lake yep. Metagoshi up by Botno. Yep. Uh, probably the best bluegill fishery I've been on. And it was, it was 30 below, 26 below, but the fish were out. Yeah, they had over 10 pounds of gills. That was a nice weight. Who won the tournament then? Uh, Pete Venturi and Nick Schertz. Yep, yeah, they did. Out of Wisconsin. Good job, a lot of new teams there. And your next stop was what lake? Uh, we were heading all the way out to West Yellowstone, Montana. That's your third trip out west, huh? We've got the West Yellowstone, Montana three years up to Lake Hebgen. It's beautiful. Uh, teams would come back and come back. They initially said it was a once in a lifetime fish and now it's an every year. It's been that much fun. Yeah, and you guys are fishing trout out there? Go after rainbows. You know, they hammer like a two pound perch, run like a pike and fight all the way back like a smallie. Yeah, who won the tournament this year? Chris McFadden and Lorgan Nordell. There he is. There we go. Yeah, I got him. So that next trip back into, uh, was back into Minnesota then, huh? Next when, uh, Lake Chisago Lake, over in Chisago. Yep. 
Yeah, and that's uh, one of my favorite lakes, I'd have to say. Oh, a fantastic fishery. We had some guys pre-fishing, they dropped the aqua views down on an up view. Yep. Fish, fish, fish. And I guess I won't ask you who won there. My partner, Greg, and I, we got lucky. They call us Team Greg. Yeah, um, it was Team Greg. Yeah. Excellent effort. You kind of separated yourself from the field there, too. Yeah. Well done. Kudos to my partner. He kept us on the spot. So next spot, where did you head to then next? We uh, kept it in the state, but we ran over to uh, the South Dakota border, uh, Big Stone. Yeah, one of the hottest perch bites in the whole uh, state It was. This year, Artie's definitely. baits had everybody on, and it was a uh, good bite. Yep, yep. Fun place to catch perch and kind of early a booming fishery now. We had uh, Pete Hoff and Jason Camrath out of Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, the Wisconsin boys. Yep, first trip they, and the fish they said came through in about a four foot thick wave yep. and they just pounded them. Now you said your next tournament stop would you head to Michigan, huh? We did. We went to Nuego, Michigan. Croton Dam Pond is the name of the lake. It's on the Muskegon River. Uh, fantastic fishery. That yep. is a world class uh, steelhead all year round. Monster crappies, gills. Yeah, and that's where the uh, Wilson Newby streak started. Yeah, huh? Brandon Newby and Ryan Wilson won there. Yep. Good team. They've won the championship before. They're out of Wisconsin. They came over for it. Yeah, and then they took that streak and went on the road to the next stop in Salt Lake. We, like, oh, we, we, we slid down to uh, Culver, Indiana, yep. Lake Max and Cucky. Super clear lake, big crappies, big gills. They're skittish because it's so clear. You, you make too much noise and they run. So yep. you, you got to do a little stealth. But Newby and Wilson came through there again uh, and really put a hurt on the field there. They did a great job. We had more guys fishing tournaments this year than we've ever had. A lot of new teams. Yep. Uh, guys are for realizing that they can fish with us, so yep. it's fun to do. Next uh, qualifier then was in Wisconsin, huh? Yeah, we were over in uh, Menominee, Wisconsin on Lake Minoman. Jim Hesse and Zach Nodolinski out of Nebraska. Some Nebraska boys. Again, Menominee has uh, got a great fishery. Yeah. You know, we do we do that intentionally. We try to get some of the best waters we can. Guys yeah, like to fish them. That's one of the reasons why you come to Mille Lacs, and actually you ran your last qualifier right here on Mille Lacs too, didn't you? We did. Once again, they were after big crops and uh, bluegills. Yep. The Blagan brothers, Luke and Ben. Now next year at the championship, you're changing it up a little bit. The panfish are in play, but these babies right here are gonna be part it's, of the it's action si too. It's 16 fish and it's your your uh, choice of gill, crop, or perch. I tell you what, besides just having a, running a tournament, you guys got a lot more going on on a weekend too, don't you? We do, our NEIFCs are three day events. Yep. Friday night we come in and we do a uh, adult seminar, free yep. of charge to the community, anybody's welcome. We cover the basics all the way up to technical tournament stuff. On Saturday we come in with the Cabela's Kids Camp, about 150, 160 yeah, kids. Yeah, a bunch of kids there for that. A couple hundred parents come with. It's a great time. Sunday, we actually do the tournament. Yep, the tournaments are open to anybody. Anybody can enter them, right? Two-man team, come on down. Yep, all you got to do is look it up at NAIFC.com if you're interested in getting information to fish it. Now, Jack, you got sponsors you want to thank, too? We do. We do. You don't get far without them. Cabela's uh, with the... Our main sponsor with the kids camp, we yep. have HT Enterprises. They've given us a thousand rods a year. Every kid that comes to one of our camps gets a free fishing rod. Aquaview, St. Croix Rods, we've got some great sponsors. Well, I tell you what, folks, they're a great time. You're definitely going to learn about ice fishing if you attend one of their events. Again, look them up at NAIFC.com. They're an excellent time, great way to enjoy winter. For Jack Baker, I'm Greg Jones. Midwest Outdoors will be right back. Hi everybody, Al Linder here. And look, I really look forward to sharing some things with you about me on the cover, the January issue of Midwest Outdoors. See you then. Hardwater Adventure? Come see what over a hundred years of fishing at Arneson's has to offer. Venture onto Lake of the Woods aboard one of Arneson's state-of-the-art track vans. Fish walleye, sauger, northern pike, and jumbo perch. Experienced winter guides move fish houses to keep you on the fish. Spend a night on the ice or in one of our fully equipped cabins. Enjoy first class service at the Rock Harbor Lodge and full service bar. Visit Arnesons.com and begin your Lake of the Woods adventure.
Here's one. Oh, nice. Nice crappie. Welcome to Midwest Outdoors. I'm Matt Pachanich with Beaver Dam Ice Fishing Products. We're out on a beautiful day today on Lake Winnebago in Wisconsin. We're gonna be fishing spoons real aggressive today and we're gonna be fishing all kinds of multi-species. So stick around, it's gonna be a great day. All right, we get out of here. Oh, nice walleye. Nice walleye. Ate that spoon. Well, folks, what I wanna talk about here today is fishing this. I got an Acme Castmaster spoon on it. We're actually out here prototype testing the new 124th ounce. And I'm telling you, look at how that walleye ate that spoon. Boy, he just crushed it. We're out here, it's a dead of winter, and these fish are just roaming around in these mud flats chasing bait. The cast master has just been known as a deadly spoon year round. And as you can see, that fish just ate it. I'm out here at Larry Smith from Larry Smith Outdoors. Larry, when they come flying off the bottom at that spoon, what do I do? Matt, that's the key thing. When they come flying up like that, what you do is you, you, re, you stall it for about two seconds. If they don't hit it, then just keep the same motions, rejigging it real, real aggressively and keep raising it real slow. And sometimes, you know, again, we're in 16 to 17 feet of water. Sometimes you won't get that fish to hit it till he's about four feet below the ice. Wow, that's so awesome. So keep that spoon moving. Oh, here's a nice one. Here's a nice one. There's a nice fish. See how he ate that Castmaster right there? Just inhaled it. And I have that tipped with that little piece of pork, that panfish leech right there. It's just kicking, giving it that little bit of action. And as you can see, it's still on there. I can drop it down and catch another fish. Nice white bass. That'll be good on the frying pan. That's a good one. This is a good one. There's a good fish. I was fishing that spoon real aggressive and that fish rocketed off the bottom in that clear water and you gotta keep bringing it up. And I kept bringing it up, bringing it up, bringing it up and about six feet off the bottom that fish just tattooed that spoon. You can see that's a beautiful white bass there. Ah, there's a nice one. Not a giant, but boy, are they fun to catch. I was pounding that spoon about two or three feet off the bottom and that fish rocketed off the bottom and came up and I just kept raising it and raising it and stop it and then they just gobble it up. And again, you can see I still got that piece of pork on that spoon. Well, Acme spoons have been around for 60 plus years and the cast masters always dominated the lineup for not only ice fishing, but for open water. But for a lot of folks probably don't realize that Acme has a huge lineup of spoons that can be used for, through the ice. The Castmaster, the Little Cleo, the Sidewinders, the Trophy Spoons, and all these spoons act a little differently. The Acme Little Cleo is a, is a great spoon for vertical jigging, casting, and trolling. The Castmaster is a great vertical jigging and casting spoon. And the Sidewinder is really heavy. You can cast it a long ways. It's a great casting and vertical jig spoon. And check out all the other spoons at UncleJosh.com. Well guys, we had an awesome day pounding them on Acme Spoons today on Winnebago, didn't we? we sure yeah, we did. did. Try Acme Spoons anywhere in the upper Midwest. I'm Matt Pachanis with my buddies. Midwest Outdoors will be right back. Hi everybody, Al Linder here. Hey look, I really look forward to sharing some things with you about me on the cover, the January issue of Midwest Outdoors. See you then. If you want to turn this into this, then you need the Skins It, the fish skinner on steroids. Skins It is the quickest, easiest way to remove the rib bones and skin while getting the most meat from your filet with zero waste. It's fast, fun, easy to use, and safe. The Skins It is a perfect gift for the fishermen in your life. How fast can you Skins It? Order now at fishskinner.com. For the ultimate ice fishing adventure, the only choice is Woodland Resort in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. We offer multiple lodging options, heated rental houses, plowed trails, on-site tackle shop, bar, and restaurant. And then there's the fishing. Your adventure begins at woodlandresorts.com.
Hey everybody, Dan Quinn with Rapala here. I'm going to talk about some new baits we have under the Storm family. Now, last year we launched an entire new brand of Storm called Arashi. There are three key features that make Arashi unique. The first is a circuit board lip. A circuit board lip gives that bait incredible durability. It can be crashed into rocks and trees and you name it, this thing can run through it and around it and over it. And then Bill is going to hold up to that. It also has a patent pending self-tuning line tie. So it is a free moving line tie, which enables you to fish this bait as fast as you want, as slow as you want, banging it into cover. You can't take this bait out of tune. That's an unbelievable feature. You'd never have to take the time to tune this lure. Also, it has a rotated hook hanger. So traditionally, lures have a hook hanger that runs parallel to the bait. And with the Rashi baits, we ran it perpendicular, and that enables you to put an entire size larger treble hook on without getting any tangling. So, some really cool features to the Rashi. We had a silent square three and a silent square five, the flat sided seven, and a deep ten. Now with that, all those baits, we added four new colors. A black chartreuse shad, a ghost hitch, pro blue, as well as a green gold shad. The three of those colors have some, are semi-translucent, so you can use on those bright sunny days when the fish are a little finicky. These colors are gonna work great. Now if that wasn't enough, we also added the square three, square five rattling versions. So when you're in those darker water situations, when you need to call those fish from a little bit further away, that rattling's the one, gonna be the one you wanna tie on. So now you have a lot of new options under the Storm Arashi brand. Make sure you get out to a retailer near you, pick some up, give them a try. You're gonna catch some great big fish. This has been Dan Quinn with your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Aside from your fishing line, the weakest link in your chain for success in fishing are your fish hooks. And oftentimes, because of the technology that is being used to keep hooks sharp or sharpening processes, you need to give a little dressing to the tip of your hooks. Sometimes they'll curl up, sometimes they'll just kind of roll back and it's all just from hitting hard portions of the fish's mouth. What I always do is keep a file in the boat and simply make three simple moves to dress the hook. And oftentimes, just a little pressure is all you need to put that hook and that lure back in action. I'm Mark Fisher for Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Come catch a Crane Lake fish where the road ends and the adventure begins. Explore the incredible opportunities Crane Lake, Minnesota offers. Crane Lake, the gateway to the vast and unspoiled Voyagers National Park. Start planning your Crane Lake, Minnesota adventure today. Call or log on to CraneLakeTV.com. Hi everybody, Al Linder here. Hey look, I really look forward to sharing some things with you about me on the cover, the January issue of Midwest Outdoors. See you there.